feel the embrace of the secret lover in ecstasy of orgasm and in the moments of rapture when a beauty in the beauty of music, dance, and visual arts and nature overwhelms us. However, we experience a broken heart. We experience when we experience a broken broken heart. It is often because another individual has not lived up to the perfection of our secret love. The reason the sexual experiences are often better in our imagination and in our memory than the actual that it actually is is because our imagination is where the secret lover is nearest to us. Personal relationships will always be somewhat disappointing to us because in truth they can never be a relationship, they can never be a relationship that matches one we have had with our secret lover. It is in the secret standard by it is the secret standard book by which we judge everything else is measured. The irony is that most of us are not aware of the relationship of our secret lover. So render to your secret lover is the central theme to most every religion and doctrine uh, and, and the practice of the world's so-called great religions tend to dilute and deflect and detour an individual from the genuine personal experience. Uh, however, more religious establishments have unceasingly strived to convince our, convince their congregations that this is the most private of all religious events, is not a personal experience, uh, uh, a personal experience at all. Uh, and oh, he's ran on to get to the point right here because he's talking about what he goes in and he tries to say that in so many words, what this particular secret lover is is called the knowledge of the conversation of the Holy God and Angel. Now, in so many aspects of ancient stuff coming from Egyptian on down to uh, on down to the modern day secret societies. They always talk about the last and final magical name that you will take as far as you going to join your higher self and your soul. It's called the knowledge and the conversation of the Holy Guardian Angel. In so many words, the Holy Guardian Angel is this particular secret love. Now the story goes as this. In the next couple of months, or in this particular realm, because we got several people all over the country, especially a lot of women, have been having encounters with sexual energies in the astral realm that come in and mate with you and copulate with you uh, in the astral realm. A lot of, a lot of sisters and some brothers are having these experiences all over the country. The key again is very soon this particular aspect of the secret love of which is nothing but the opposite of your higher self. In voodoo, you get two snakes, down by the way, and eight away. So for every male counterpart, there's a female spirit that comes along with you. And the same vice versa. In every female counterpart, there's a male spirit. So you're going to meet your secret love. And your secret love is going to rise you and raise you to the level of perfection. In fact, to that particular God here. And that's how it's going to happen. The key here is, this thing is going to visit the earth in mass. And everybody, I talked about this in May, will gain a secret love. These particular secret love will catapult you into your higher self. The key here is, the ones who are counterfeit spirits and do not have the filtering process of the pineal gland, operation, operational, will burn up. Will go into spontaneous combustion and actually burn up. Internal combustion. And will we'll, we'll, we'll actually burn up the Kundalini and they say our God is an all-consuming fire. Well, the secret lover in them is getting ready to revisit the earth. The secret lover is nothing but your own holy guardian angel or the entity or uh, this twin that's the other half of 
with your soul coming to jail and let you can go to this bliss. <laughs> this is the magical mix of the secret love that is in uh, most, that, that, that has been carried down. They talked about this throughout history. It's called the Agostain. But it is also, uh, that is also what we are getting ready to meet. And it, it's, it's, it's a form of a Kundalini energy, it's a form of a goddess, it's a form of a whole serpentine type of thing. But I had to go back and put that type of information back out because that's what's getting ready to happen as far as us being revisited by this particular secret love type of uh, complex. You know, uh, 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 this particular aspect. You know, that's very key at this particular time because this particular social. Remember, I was talking about these ancestral spirits. We were talking about the last couple of hours. Well, those ancestral spirits that are free to roam and do what they want are the same ones that is coming as the secret lover that will join back with you to raise you to your certain level, to, to your particular certain level. Now, what the government is doing here is when you start to metamorphosize, they'll say, fuck it, put them niggas on lockdown. So, that's another aspect on why they're doing what they're actually doing. They're talking about putting the, you know, uh, uh, so they're actually getting ready for that particular aspect to put the people on the lockdown based on that type of thing. And so, you'll see, but, the invasion is, and I talked about this in May, the invasion is not going to come from space, the invasion is going to come from inside your body. That's the Kundalini energy, that's the sexual energy, and that's the energy in which your own secret level will appear to bring you to another level. And everybody on the earth is going to get this, black and white, everybody on the earth is going to get this. Now whether you are the original people that can stand it, you either burn up or you will dog on go to another level, but the invasion is going to come on the inside of you.